Ready? Yeah, ready. Right. From night. So I'll leave on 5 0. 5 0. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> 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 Woo! Hello, everybody, and welcome to another video today. So, uh, just before we begin, I want to say hello to everyone who watches the videos religiously. Thank you very much for your support. And today, uh, the video is going to be about why do I love the K League so much? So, if you haven't noticed uh, or live under a rock, uh, most of my videos I wear this shirt or I wear the same team shirt, maybe the white one or maybe the blue one. And that's because I am a Soul Elan fan. So they land playing Korea, they play in the second tier of Korean football. Now the reason why I'm making this video today is just giving a few reasons of why I love this Korean league so much. Not just So Leland, just the actual Korean football system itself. Now um, to begin with, let's talk about season ticket prices just to start off. Now my, bo my boyhood club, the club I love, is Manchester United. I'm from Manchester before I get negative comments, that's my team. So. The cheapest, cheapest price for a Man United season ticket is £532 for 19 games of the Premier League season. Now, I've bought a Seoul Eland season ticket for three years in a row now. This is the first one in 2018 and that cost me Shipman 1, 100,001. That is about 70 English pound or $100, I believe so. I might be wrong, these are ballpark figures. That is for 18 games plus any FA Cup games that solely Elan get at home. 2019, that was all man won. That was 50,000. And there's a reason why that was half the price of this one. And I'll get into that a little bit later. But that's about 35 pound. Now the 2021 I don't have at the moment because obviously the situation going on at the moment, uh, football's postponed and I haven't picked it up from the ticket box. But I paid 150,001 for that one. So Shibu Man 1, I believe. No, Shibu Man 1, yeah. God, I should have checked the numbers before I started speaking Korean, which is about 105 quid. So as you can tell, the football is of the same caliber before people go, oh yeah, but the football isn't like Manchester United. I know. I know, but I'm going to explain to you why I, I love going to these games. So, you get 18 games in a season, plus any FA Cup games at home. Now, for a ticket, anyway, you go, well, Mike, I'm not buying a season ticket. I just want to go anyway. Man won. $10. 10,001, which is about seven quid. Now, some teams pay about $16, which is a little bit over a tenner. But, I mean, I've never seen a season, I've never seen a ticket over 20,000. Anything over 20,000 is like VIP level seating in Korea. Now, some other things which I personally like, you could drink in the stadiums. In England, you're not allowed to drink in view of the pitch, but in um, Korea, you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to bring your own food and bring your own drinks into the stadium too, which is something I've done quite a few times throughout the year. Um, the passion of the fans, uh, I've made some great, great friends over my over my three years in Korea, simply because of my love and passion for Seoul Eland. We all share the same passion and we all get together and watch the games and that's what it is, it's like a family. Uh, I'm gonna fire some pictures all around here just to uh, show you my experience in Korea and my my experience with Seoul Eland. Now, um, Funnily enough, if you've watched this video and go to Soli Line Games, you might recognise me for this. Yeah. Believe it or not, this is how I dress when I go to Soli Line Games. Yeah, I do look like a clown. And I do feel like a clown, but there's a very good reason behind it. First of all, I have very sensitive eyes. I have 20-20 vision, but I have very sensitive eyes. So I wear sunglasses the moment a little bit of sun comes out. So that's the reason for the sunglasses. Uh, the scarf, come on, it's part of the power of any football fan, no matter what league or division you're in. And the sunflower hat is quite an interesting story. Uh, I bought the sunflower hat whilst in Vietnam. And uh, I watched the Seoul Elan game whilst in Vietnam, and it was the first win in about 11 or 12, or could even have been 14, one of them numbers is correct. So I thought, <laughs> lucky hat. Go back to uh, Seoul a week later, and we have four games in a row in Jamshul. Three of them we win, so we actually win four games in a row. So I thought, I'm not taking this hat off for the rest of the year. So <laughs> that is the reason why I look like an absolute banana. And uh, I wear this, so uh, that that's it. So I'm gonna also put a few uh, images and videos of my time uh, I supported Seoul and the things that have really happened and things I've got up to over the last few years as me supporting them. 
So, um, yeah, that is how I dress sometimes at stadiums. Um, yeah, if I <laughs> it didn't stick out like a sore thumb being a foreigner regard, anyway, I do with looking like that. So, um, another thing I'd love to say is um, some highlights of my, my year is supporting Seoul Eland and some highlights of me in Korea. Uh, my first game with Seoul Eland was um, in August 2017. It was 1 1 draw against Song. I always remember it was the first time I went to Seoul Olympic Stadium, Jamchil. It was great. I really loved it. It was a draw, it was a penalty in the game that, uh, that we scored. But apart from that, uh, that really set it the ball rolling, really, for me supporting Seoul Eland. Um, most memorable most memorable moment for me as a Seoul Eland fan would have to be our 2 1 win against Ansan Greeners. Char J1, who was a fantastic Wonder Boy striker at the time. Um, or maybe attacking mid, you'd say. Um, he scored in the last minute of the game. We were 1 0 down and they win the game 2 1. It was a Monday night and I was steaming because of that result. I, it was great. Um, some other memorable moments. Uh, something I'm going to get on to. Uh, Guangzhou away last year. We lost, but it was an experience. So, what I'm leading on to is I go to so many away games Busan, Guangzhou, Asan. Ansan, Buchon, Inchon, well Inchon's in a different league, I've not actually watched Solid Ground versus Inchon, um, but I've been to so many different cities watching Korean football and especially watching Seoul Eland. I've taken buses, I've taken coaches, I've taken trains, I've taken planes, honestly. That's why Guangzhou was so great to me because I flew to Guangzhou and it was like a proper like European away day almost for me. Um, the video I'm gonna link down below because they actually did a bit of like a thing for, for that one. And I did a thing for Busan as well, I made like a kind of video. Um, it, it just, it, it's great the fact that like I go all around Korea following this team, you feel like you're part of something and feel very welcomed and, it, and it's really, it, it feels really great to be part of something and like really help and support them. Um, obviously my Korean isn't great and, and I butcher most songs that we sing in Korean, but I like to think that, uh, you know, I'm doing okay. Um, so this is just basically why I love it so much, you know, it, it's freedom, you can go there, you spend seven, eight pounds to get into the stadium, you can have a few beers in the stadium with your mates, because the attendances are quite low, you can sit where you want, and it's all like a family community kind of thing, which is really great, and I really enjoy it. Uh, on the football side, as I said, the football isn't fantastic, but it's always exciting, there's always, you never know what's going to happen in this league, for example, Guangzhou got promoted this year. They were undefeated until they played Anyang really late on in the season and got beat 7-1. This is a team that was undefeated, they got beat 7-1. So the unpredictability in this league is very, very, very high. Uh, it, it, it's just something I really enjoy doing and it is a passion of mine. Now, um, obviously, I've got a little bit of a bias to, <laughs> based in Seoul because obviously I can go down to Anyang, Ansan, Buchon, Seoul, Eland... I must be forgetting the team here now, but there's so many teams which is close proximity to myself, which I can just go and watch Seoul Elan play. So away games for me are kind of easy. But then when we are playing Busan last year, or when we do play Guangzhou, it is such like a, it feels like such a good away day. <laughs> and you're able to do that in Korea at a normal price. Unlike in Europe, where an away day costs you a few hundred quid, it doesn't cost that much here because the prices of the trains are always the same. The prices of domestic flights are here about normally, normally the same price as well. Um, so really, you can really calculate an away day before you even start booking anything here. Uh, my, with Soli Land themselves as a team, the last two years they haven't done fantastic. This year we're hoping for a little bit better. Finally, when the season starts, uh, what am I looking forward to most? I think flying to Jeju is what I'm looking forward to most. That's going to be a real good uh, away day. I feel, you know, like I'm finally I'm, I'm getting off the mainland Korea, going to Jeju Do Jeju Island. So that will be something that'll be a bit of a yeah. I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, expectations are sold this year. I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, every year we said we'll do better and we've ended up 10th for two years in a row. Now, I'm optimistic. We've got a new manager and we've got a lot of new players. It feels like a real change compared to the other years. So, we'll just have to see how they do. So, all right, guys. That was really my video about the K-League. I feel like I should have covered a bit more, but then obviously I go in a tangent about talking about Seoul Eland. I, I do this in real life, not just on YouTube. So, if you have any comments, concerns, or any questions about the K-League, or Soul Eland or why I support them, fire away in the comments below. Uh, my Twitter's 
there at the start of the video. Uh, subscribe, like, and yeah, I'll see you all very soon. Don't forget, just relax.